Hey guys, Jan here in the North View Model Shop, and we have a very rare view of the stash closet. All right, guys, really, really, really exciting! Another box, and it's great. If you want to see what's in it, stay tuned. We're about to show you. It is sweet. All right, guys, here we go. Yes, we've got another package in the mail, and this one is really, really cool. On a whim. Just a rare chance, I emailed an old friend of mine I'd seen at a model show, had some stuff for sale. And I said, hey boss, what do you got left? And he said, I got this money left. And I said, hey, that's pretty cool, can I see? So he fires me a picture. So that's pretty cool. We put everything around it. He said, it's for sale, man. And I said, all right, dude, how much? So he fired me a number at it. And I said, you know what, it's pretty sweet. So we struck a little bit of a deal, a little bit of money transferred. He sent the goods and the goods showed up. So let's have a little look and see what we got. Here we have it guys. Super, super, super excited for this to come in. Good friend of ours, like I said, who's getting, he's getting out of the hobby. He had this for sale at the model show. He sold a lot of it, but not all of it. So we bought everything left that he had left. Now, when we first contacted him, guys, we were really interested in the model air. You guys know that we've kind of taken a little liking to Vallejo model air stuff. So he gave us an offer on what this was. And all the other stuff was in the background. And we said, you know what? Geez, why not? So we did that. We gave a shot. And the deal worked out great. I won't tell you how much we paid because you guys will probably come kill me. But... Really, really excited because guys, we got 55 different Model Air paints. Now, really, really great is when I kind of looked and compared what I already have, there are very, very few matches. And guys, honestly, I think that's because most of the stuff I bought, I bought from him last show. So not some duplicates there. So that was really, really cool. Um, also, we bought the full line of the Model Color paints, which from what I gather is pretty close to being the, the Model Air, except for this isn't airbrush ready. So that's really cool because we've been struggling with what we use to, uh, to paint, to do a uh, little paint brushing stuff, right? So that's exciting. Also, we've got this, uh, the AK Interactive uh, airbrush ready paint as well. Now, apparently, I think Buddy was telling me this is a set that he had gotten and the whole line supposed to be there. So we're going to look a little deeper into that product. I'm not familiar with that really really cool was the Vallejo pigments and what is really cool about this stuff guys is we've bought a few of these recently and none of these were duplicates beautiful guys just retail 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 there's 80 bucks right there I believe retailish right um, this stuff is kind of weird one is the AK Interactive Perfect Cleaner which is kind of neat. I don't use that. And this is Gravel and Sand Fixer from AK. And I, I'm not quite sure. I guess it's for putting rocks and stuff together for some type of gizmo. But groovy. Um, a Vallejo uh, ready to paint or ready to airbrush primers. Uh, we have uh, five bottles there. We just recently bought one of those as well. Not a duplicate. That is cool. Uh, we've seen these kits before. We had the one for um, uh, World War II. Uh, um, American equipment and a pretty neat little set just small little bottles for testing and just kind of get your feet wet This is for US Vietnam all strap. That's kind of cool I think some of them we already have up there anyway, but the, either way um, this polyurethane satin varnish I'm not quite sure what this is all about. It seems like it's pretty thick, but I'm not really sure find out a little bit about that as well some uh, Mr. White putty uh, this I'm not sure I have this is same or different from um, the Tamiya stuff, I thought I read somewhere that this cleans with water, so it might be a little bit different. Kind of neat. Get that out of the way. Um, washes. All kinds of washes. Dark, yellow, oil, earth, uh, browns, white, or light white, gray. Chipping medium. Kind of neat to how this works, so I'm going to have to figure that one out as well. Um, really neat. I wasn't expecting these in the deal, but he threw them in. Is all of the... Um, AK Interactive Extreme Metal. There's the black base. We have all the aluminums, the chromes, and the cleaner that goes along with it. That's kind of neat. Uh, the Vallejo uh, uh, airbrushing uh, thinner. Uh, then there's, uh, this is the um, inhibitor, slow dry stuff. That's kind of neat. Uh, Microsoft, we already had some of that, but there's uh, Micro Crystal Clear, Micro Flat, Super cool. This is this Vallejo Dark Earth uh, uh, sculpting stuff, I guess. It says here, you, you pretty well lay it out, sculpt it up, 
takes about 30 minutes, it dries hard, and it dries into like a dark earth color. Kind of neat. Unopened too. I had to open it to check it out. And then these uh, Life Color uh, Diorama Series. Uh, I guess these are supposed to be really cool. Buddy was telling me they're really, really neat. He enjoyed them when he was using them. So really, really cool. And guys, unbelievably excited when this package came in the mail. Uh, and we really, guys, I think we stole it from Guy. But he was really happy that we were getting our hands on it. We were going to put it to good use. He's backed off the hobby. You guys can see there's dust on the bottle. So they've been laying around for a while. Wasn't that a country song? A little dust on the Bible? No, that was the Bible, not the bottle. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. Anywho, guys, now we must venture into making paint shelves and getting all this stuff up so we can see it, so we can put it to really, really good use. Guys, in the comment section below, these products, if you've used these products, products, give us a little review there, especially the AK Interactive Extreme Metal. We're not familiar too much with that. We'd like to know how that works. And uh, the AK Interactive, this stuff here, this airbrush paint, if you're familiar with that, give us a little heads up what you have experienced, especially with this putty, just quick questions on that. Guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, hopefully you're as excited to see what we got as we were to receive it. And once again, to Buddy out there who sold us the gear, we are beyond excited to get this. And guys, enjoy the hobby. Adios.